Hey you guys, what's going on? Alright, I'm in the car trying to get some quiet. We are actually at the laundromat doing laundry. And I wanted to come into the car to go live for today's live video. Uh, I feel like I've made a lot of videos about this topic, but um, like if you guys want to snoop on my YouTube and whatnot. And figured that you know not everybody like is gonna see every single one of my YouTube videos that I've ever created over the last three and a half years <laughs> so I'm just gonna you know make a video about this uh, I wanted to talk about this topic today because it's come up a lot um, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about this having questions about anxiety and depression and food and just something that's been coming up a lot. So um, I wanted to share, in case you don't know, I anxiety and depression is like a battle that I've had for my entire life, um, pretty much. Like I've had anxiety since I was a little kid, since I can remember like second grade, you know, like having anxiety waking up in the middle of the night not being able to sleep and I would have to like rearrange the whole house and clean and um, it's just something that I've always had and um, so I guess I've had to learn how to deal with it and I've used unhealthy ways to cope like drugs and alcohol um, which just make it worse and food which makes it worse and so you know it wasn't until I became a coach three and a half years ago and I really I really wanted to change my life because you guys my shit was broken like in the beginning of our marriage mine and Derek's um, marriage we like I was just I had zero control over my emotions and I was just like so angry all the time and granted we had like a rough start like we found out he had uh, stage 3 appendix cancer like right before our wedding um, actually it was seven years ago, seven years ago or six years ago, yesterday that we got engaged. And it was like a month after that or so that we found out he had cancer and like, it was a rough go in the beginning. I was like really angry at everyone and God and the earth and like the universe. And like, I was just angry. And I've always been a very angry person um, growing up. And so anyway, like I had to see a therapist and I was like really just trying to figure it out because I was struggling so hard with my anxiety and with depression and like emotional eating and just feeling like my entire life was in shambles constantly. Um, and a big part of it was because I was using drugs and alcohol to soothe myself and food. Um, and like binge watching TV to like make myself feel better. And that stuff is just like a temporary band-aid for the moment. It doesn't, it doesn't help you long term. Um, so it was when I started coaching that I, you know, I became a coach in the first place because my life was in shambles, and I wanted to change my life. And I felt like this was the way to do it. You know, like I needed some serious help. I needed accountability, and I also wanted to help people. Like. I wanted to make a difference and I felt like what I was doing wasn't wasn't giving back I was like just grinding away in school and working away in the restaurant and just like you know partying and doing the same old routine over and over again and it, that's why I became a coach was because I needed the accountability I my life was like in shambles it was falling apart and I needed I needed help, I needed a program to follow, I needed something that was going to change my life, and this was it. So I had to, I really wanted to fix what was going wrong with my life, so I really had to learn how to find healthier ways to get through my anxiety and depression, and it wasn't something that I wanted to deal with anymore. I wanted it to be done with, like I wanted to be healed from it, you know? So anyway long tangent and distractions but um so what I do to to help me is um so one thing you should know is that every once in a while I still get anxiety and every once in a while I wake up feeling like shit like emotionally and most of the time 
I get it under control by waking up and I do my workout first thing, you know, like it sets the mood for my day. It makes me feel good. I'm energized. I feel accomplished. I feel confident. Um, I feel like I'm doing something really good for myself and I, you know, no matter, cause you never know how the day is going to turn out. Like you could get hit with like a giant curveball, and your day can be completely effed up, you know? So, um, I like to get my workout in first thing and I like to listen to personal development right after that to set the tone for the day. And that right there like really helps me a lot. And it really changes my mood. It really, um, you know, puts me in a better place. Something I learned from Tony Robbins is that your emotion is tied to your emotion. So if you're feeling like super down and out, if you're having anxiety, like move your body, go for a walk, do a workout, um, dance around, do something that makes you feel good. Um, go for a hike, you know? So what I like to do is, if I wake up in a really bad mood or like have an elephant on my chest, which still happens sometimes, it's nowhere near like what it used to be. It used to be like debilitating. Um, and every once in a while, I'll be like, okay, it doesn't matter what workout program I'm following right now. What matters is that I um, get this shit together. Like, get my shit together. So I'll do one of my favorite workout programs on um, with Beachbody and that's Turbo Fire because it's it was my first program ever um, that I ever did and it's like nostalgic it makes me feel good it reminds me of how far I've come it's like super dancey and high energy and it like kicks your ass and it just makes me feel good so I do a workout that makes me feel good the program I'm following now makes me feel good so I would probably just do the program I'm doing now but if I was just doing like a weightlifting program I would throw in like a high intensity cardio like turbo fire that makes me feel good um, and I listen to personal development and that like really really helps me and sometimes I can't work out like I'll tell you recently it was about it was before Derek came back with the kids so like a like a week and a half ago like a like two Thursdays ago or something um, I had terrible allergies. Sometimes I wake up with like allergies that are crushing me. <laughs> and I used to be like so against allergy medicine and I was like, oh, that's such bullshit. Like, and I hate taking medicine. I, I don't take Tylenol unless I really need to. Like I, I'm like, you know, all natural most of the time. But sometimes people are like, oh, you know, like allergy medicine is like so bad for you. And I'm like, dude, not being able to move because my allergies are so bad is bad for me. <laughs> so, you know, I'm all about allergy medicine. If you need it, take it, like whatever, whatevs. Um, oh, the kids are fighting. Wow. I can't even like go in there and reprimand right now. And Derek's on the phone. Oops. <laughs> like, oh my God. So anyway, um, sometimes I have really bad allergies and I can't work out so like like I was saying a couple like a couple Thursdays ago I was like laid out on the couch I felt like I got hit by a really bad cold and that's what my allergies feel like to me like a really bad cold and I was just like feeling blah because I was feeling kind of down I couldn't work out because I felt like I got hit by a bus and um, so my normal thing of like working out and doing all that stuff like wasn't an option that time. And so I had a moment where I went back to my old comforting ways and I'm not drinking so I was eating. <laughs> I ordered a pizza to myself and I had an entire pizza to myself like throughout the day. And you know one of the other things I will say is like don't, like if that stuff happens, if you have a tendency of like binge eating or having those like emotional eating um, moments, don't let it become this whole big thing. You know, like don't beat yourself up about it. Be like, okay, I'm accept I'm accepting where I'm at right now. This is fine. Um, it's it's just like where I'm at. I'm going to accept it, and you know, just move on and say, okay, I'm just gonna drink a lot of water. That's like always my thing. Drink a lot of water. Um, you know, like make sure you get up and do your workout the next day, um, and do those things that make you feel good the next day and don't sweat about it. Like, don't worry about it. Don't beat yourself up. Just be like, cool. It's one day. Like 
you know, like don't let it become this whole thing where you go into a binge week or month or year and you forget about what you really want and what actually makes you feel good because it's going to make you feel worse. Like eating that pizza, honestly, it didn't make me feel, it made me feel better in the moment, but it didn't make me feel better all around or like 10 minutes later, you know, it made me feel like super full and lethargic and I was just like, oh, I'm really just gonna lay here <laughs> you know it doesn't like make you feel good so you need to remember and remind yourself like what makes you feel good and and eating like that and you know sulking and laying around isn't gonna make you feel good so you have to just kind of like I talked about this last week I think like parenting yourself you have to parent yourself and make yourself get up you have to make yourself wake up take your pre-workout or whatever like I love taking pre-workout it gets me in like the mindset of I'm gonna go crush some dicks I'm gonna go get my workout done and you know I get in that mindset and so like that's what I would do just like make yourself do it and you'll feel better for it like you have to you can't you know you can't live your life wanting to only feel good all the time and like do the things that feel good um because they're most of the time like those things that make you feel good like binge eating or eating a whole bunch of sugar like candy I used to binge on like skittles and eat an entire bag of skittles like years ago um I you know like eat drinking smoking whatever like that stuff makes you feel good in the moment but it's not going it's not adding value to your life it's not making you a better person it's not like helping you reach your goals or anything it's just really taking away from all that stuff so you have to make yourself do those things that don't feel good in the moment like making yourself work out or making yourself get up and get out of the house and do something that's good for you it doesn't feel good in the moment but it will feel good you'll feel good afterwards um, so yeah, that's kind of like my tip, my tip for you today. Um, and I'm going to keep trying to do these live videos every day for you guys as much as I can. Um, and the kids are fighting again. Oh my God. <laughs> I have to go do laundry and like <laughs> get these kids in check. Um, they're just like play fighting, I think. But anyway, I hope that this was helpful for you and I'm sorry about all the distractions, but it's real life and you know, real life happens and just remember that you still have goals, you still have things you need to do, so you just have to make yourself do them. So, and, and have grace with yourself. You have to have grace and compassion and love for yourself and not say mean things or beat yourself up about it um, because that's not going to help anyone. Like telling yourself you suck and telling yourself you're a fat piece of shit or whatever. Um, like you wouldn't say that to someone else. So why would you say that to yourself? Like you have to have some love and respect for yourself, um, first and foremost and, you know, set priorities and boundaries and just make yourself do the things that you know are going to be good for you. So I'm going to go. I hope this was helpful. Have an awesome, awesome Wednesday, you guys. Peace out.